Hi everyone, my name is Melanie Grace and I'm currently building my business, Corporate Angel Promotions. Um, slightly different in this video today because it's a message to the young entrepreneurs. Um, I'm currently a young entrepreneur myself, I'm still finding my way and um, getting more successful each day but working incredibly hard So, um, and I know how difficult it can be, I really do. So um, first, um, a bit about myself. So. Um, you know, all through school, I was just an average student. Actually, in secondary school, um, I needed help, so I um, had extra tutors. It wasn't very clever. Um, my dad passed away, um, lost quite a bit of weight, and then finally, when I finished, I finished with good grades, managed to pull myself through it and did okay. Um, then I went on to college, where I achieved three stars in business management, just because I felt like I found my way and I absolutely loved it. So um, I just pushed so hard, and it, you know it really paid off despite all the um, pressure before. Um, but in between this, um, I became a professional ballroom dancer. Well, professionals compete in amateur, but it was literally training five, six days a week, and then competing at the weekend. So. It was pretty much like a professional career. Um, so half, probably half a year before I was due to finish college, I moved to Italy. Um, so I started ballroom dancing when I was around 12 years old and I thought that this was, you know, the rest of my life. It was my passion. It was what my heart absolutely loved more than anything. Um, it was incredible. I loved it so much. Um, so I had a number of English partners, worked my way up, trained myself so hard, got the best coaches, had so so much support from my family, you know, I really felt like I was on the right track. So I found a partner in Italy, I managed to go to Italy, and I was there in a total of three years, managed to become the um, Italian youth champion in ballroom dancing, and also, uh, that was in under 21, and then also we were a semi-finalist in um, the British. So I was getting really good results and things were going well, we had the best coaches, we had the best life, it was fantastic. but. Unfortunate events happened in Italy um, with my partner and I sort of felt like it wasn't the right thing so I got out of that situation and then I got a job at Chris and Clover which is in one of the best, um, well in my eyes the best um, ballroom dressmaking company in, um, in the world and then um, so from there I always had a passion for designing dresses. So I started to design them, get a feel for them, and went to the interview. Um, basically had no experience, but I trained myself prior and um, always loved designing my own dresses. So I thought, hey, I can do this. So um, yeah, so I got the job. So I was back in England for a while while searching for my next ballroom dance partner. This um, was when I designed this gorgeous dress right here, which is absolutely beautiful, one of my favorites. A bit of gold underneath. <laughs> um, so then I got my second partner um, who was from Poland. Um, I thought, you know, this guy is an incredible dancer. I'm sorted now. I can really get back on my feet. Everything's going so well. Um, you know, training's going to be amazing. Um, and then all of a sudden, um, three months down the line, we decided it wasn't working and he'd had circumstances as well and he thought that no. It just wasn't happening. So there I was again without a partner, thinking that, you know, I'm training everything for this and it's just not going right. Now, all through this, this, these circumstances, everything that's happened, I always had something in the back of my mind that I really had a passion for business. Now, business, um, I mean, I obviously I studied, but my family have always owned their own businesses and I've seen them having their own lives, being in charge of what they do, when they want, and being really successful. So I was thinking, you know, that's that ultimately was always in the back of my head. So when I finally um, split with a partner from Poland, I thought, right, I mean, I'm so tired of having to split my time between two people and then training really hard and dancing, trying to get somewhere. And hey, some people are really lucky. They find their long life partners in this industry. It's It's fantastic. I can't. I mean, the feeling it gives you when you're on the floor, it's amazing. I love dancing with all my heart, but unfortunately for me, it just didn't work. So, um, yeah, so obviously I decided that I'm going to give my business a go. So I started to get experience in the events industry, um, worked for every promotion agency possible. I got experience in pretty much everywhere in London, every job you can think of, from high paid, low paid, um, 
leaflet into exhibitions, to conferences, to yacht shows, to autumn. I got everything, every industry, every person in that industry I made, and like I, I ensured I knew everything about. Now, this is my first tip for young entrepreneurs. Make sure you know your industry. I mean, I I obviously had the background of dancing, which gave me a really, a really good base to know that hard work pays off. You need to train, you need to put in the hours, and nothing comes easy. I think you know, everyone has that in their mind, but it, it's how deep it goes. So that was really, um, that was really something that I, I, I felt like it was a good solid ground base that I knew what was going on. I knew what was happening. Um, and then from there, um, I think it was two years on, I developed corporate angel promotions, which is my business now, which I provide event models and hostesses to the luxury sectors. Um, so I've got a lot of great clients, things are going really well. I've got a team of 14 girls on the books now, which are excellent. And um, obviously this was not just out of the blue, this was a really big journey. And um, I can honestly say, um, quitting dancing was, was the hardest decision of my life. I mean, even now I don't consider myself quit, it's still in the back of my head like things are going on. And um, in fact, this dress that I designed here, I, I didn't actually get to wear. <laughs> So this is kind of why I'm never selling it and it means so much to me. Um, it, I mean, it's like implanted in my heart. But um, yeah, I mean, the second thing is, is if you've got something in the back of your head, whether it be business or even a sport or something like that, if you want to give it a go, I mean, go for it. I mean, I was lucky that, I mean, I had a lot of bad things happen in dancing with partners and bad luck. But it's led me to where I am today, and honestly, I've never felt so comfortable in business in my entire life. I mean, business literally feels like the only place I belong, and where I feel most comfortable, and where I'm able to be, in, you know, not in charge, but lead successfully and help everyone build themselves and give people work and help, you know, everything be done to a better standard and just give back. So I absolutely love business so much so it's took a lot to get here but you know if you've got that in the back of your head or something you want then you know go for it I mean it killed me giving up dancing but I mean I can happily say I've landed on my feet and worked so hard and now I'm I'm so content I'm so content I wish I could wear this um but no I am really really content so um so yeah I mean the main message to young entrepreneurs would be you have a lot go on when you know when you're growing up so much go on but you need to take every single little bit of experience you can and remember it and say so what did this teach me and what do i need to do better next time i mean without my dancing experience without all the bad luck i had um with dancing partners who want to treat me really badly but that taught me so so much i mean how to handle business i mean how to be considerate of other people, how to train hard, how to make the most of what I can do. So just value every little bit that happens to you and take it and manifest it. So when you do go into something that you 100% feel comfortable in and belong, you think, right, I've had experience, I'm going to manifest this, and I'm going to do what I can, I'm going to make it work. Because guys, everyone, I mean, you've heard the saying probably the most out of everything. It's not easy, but if you've got a positive outlook and you've got a clear idea of what you want to do then it makes it so much more easier to handle your emotions when things get tough or build things back up when you hit the rock bottom because that will happen a few times i mean i've had weeks at the start when it was like you know where's the business what's going on i'm doing all this work i'm working on my laptop till two o'clock in the morning i'm doing everything in my whole heart i mean what's going on but then a few days later I'll get a phone call from a meeting I had or seeds that I planted and they'd be like, yeah, so this is going to go ahead and we're going to make this happen. So I feel like you've just got to keep your vision, be sensible. And another thing that I can say is put yourself in the right place. I mean, when I came back from Poland, I came home thinking, right, what am I going to do now? Where am I going? And then I thought business, where Kilix is business, where, where's my clientele? London. Now... My clients obviously in the luxury sector aren't just in London, they're in the good areas in London. And I knew that's where I wanted to be. So um, so basically I spent my time looking, I thought right I just want to get myself there. Within a week I found a flat in Chelsea, which obviously 
a lot of rent, but I was like, right, I'm just going to make it work. So I'm happily there now, still making it work, still building my business every day and still knowing that I'm on the right path after all the crap that I've been through. So, um, yeah, so every day, guys, even if you're not in a good place right now, get to know yourself, get to know how you're feeling, how you react to things, really listen to your body and mind and know that, you know, just keep heading towards what you want. Don't be like, oh, well, this is comfortable, this is okay, because dancing to me was comfortable. I did it since I was 11 years old. It was where I felt at home. It was like, I know the industry, I know the competitions, I know the people, I know what I'm doing. Um, but at the end of the day, that didn't happen. It didn't work out, and everything happens for a reason. Well, that's my outlook on things. So if you're a young entrepreneur, I hope you've enjoyed my story, but please just have the guts to make the jump. And just listen to yourself when you're happy and when you're not. And I feel like the biggest thing in business for me is the fact that I felt comfortable and I know my industry and I know what's going on. So just make sure you know what's going on. Don't go in blindsided and don't be naive or silly. Um, just have knowledge, guys, and um, just take it, take it seriously, but have fun. So, um, yeah, so I hope you've had... Um, You've enjoyed listening to my little story and um, if you get time take a look at corporateangels.co.uk you'll get to see um, what we're about there but um yeah i wish best of luck to everyone out there and being a young entrepreneur is exciting and you'll probably enjoy the journey of getting to where you want to get to so much but just don't you know walk around with your eyes closed actually enjoy it enjoy every meeting enjoy every lesson enjoy just take it all in guys and um know that everything will be fine. So um, thanks for listening guys and um, best of luck.